I've received a few questions regarding the massing environment recently and I've been using it myself just a little bit more than in previous years and uh, I would like to highlight one or actually a couple of issues that I've run across and maybe ways to solve them. These are probably bugs and uh, if I get confirmation that that's the case I will post um, a comment in, in this blog post. So I started a project from the default template and I'm going to uh, simply go to the massing tab, create an in-place mass, pick the rectangle draw tool, create form and finish mass. Now I created on the first floor but I would like to demonstrate that uh, it doesn't really matter whether you move the form or you leave it uh, where, where it was created uh, it will still result in the same problem. So for example first little quirk you can see that we can change the extents of the form we have these drag handles and when uh, the face lines up with uh, one of these references the lock tool becomes the available, the icon becomes available so if I lock, for example, the top, notice that now the bottom doesn't move anymore. And I have not locked it. That, that's quite peculiar. In fact, um, if I unlock here, now I can move it again. And vice versa, if I lock the bottom, I cannot move the top anymore. So that is possibly a bug there. And one of the main problems is that if I align the top, obviously I have to align the top now in order to, to uh, constrain it. If I move the level, it flexes, but if I move the base level, I get a constraint, not satisfied error. So how do we constrain a form so that it can flex between levels, so that as levels change, the form changes with them? So what I'm going to do is edit in place and instead of applying the constraints in the project environment I'm going to apply the constraints while I am in the uh, uh, editor in the family editor or the massing editor so notice that when I hover over uh, this line Revit's picking the edge first that's not what we want we want the surface uh, this is a little bit of a problem um, because in most cases when you're looking in an elevation view or section view you really want to pick the surface I think in, in uh, most of the cases but Revit prefers the edge personally I wish it was the other way around I would like it to select the surface first not the edge so in order to select the surface we have to tab until surface is highlighted and you can see that in the tooltip and also in the status bar on the left you click now we have the surface uh, selected I can simply drag let's go ahead and lock it to level 2 and again we tab until we pick the surface And notice that now I can still move the form, whereas before in the project environment I could not move the other uh, uh, the other part of this form. So I go ahead and lock it, finish the mass. And now notice that if I move my level, the form flexes, and it does not give me a constraint error. I can also now copy this form go ahead and copy it, control C and paste it to selected levels I'm going to go ahead and paste it on level 2 edit in place one more time pick the surface do the same with the top lock it and finish mass and once again notice that everything's flexing fine in fact even if you constrain the levels 
uh, through a dimension string, it will still flex and behave as, as expected. So that is uh, one level moves, the other um, surfaces adjust accordingly. So that's it for today. I hope this will save you some headaches in the future.